Timmy. I miss you so much. I never thought it possible to miss a boy so much. Because I knew the holidays would be the hardest time for me. We always had such fun around Halloween, you and I. Well, go on, go on and celebrate without me. That's no fun. Why aren't you out there ruining mortal lives, causing more chaos, more pain? I have enough pain of my own right now, thank you, Connie. I miss my Timmy, I miss my Timmy so much. <sighs> yeah, Ivy, Ivy, what do you mean that you want Grace to know the truth about her husband? What have you done to Sam? Nothing yet. But when she gets there, I'll make sure she gets an eyeful. Grace, are you sure you want to go to the David, crime? I have to. No, I need to talk to Sam about our marriage and try to smooth things out. Sam is only there because the devil wants him there. The devil. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Thank you. Thank Not you. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Louise, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just... It's gonna take me a long time to get over Sheridan. Very long time. Here we go. Some tea and Halloween treats. Sheridan? Hmm? What? Where were you just now? I'm here. I don't think so. You're still worried about my health, aren't you? Of course, Antonio, naturally. Is that all there is, or is there more? Hey, I thought you told me everything. Now I'm starting to wonder. Is there something else you want to tell me? Something you want to talk about? decision? One that would be right for us? Yes. Yes, I have. I've been thinking a lot about, about life and about love and about marriage. And I've decided that the time is now. Dr. Russell, what is it? What is wrong with my baby? I don't know, Teresa. But we have to get this fever down. Isn't it dangerous for the baby's temperature to be so high? Yeah, and it's 105. Well, a baby can have convulsions. The fever this high. Shh, okay. Please, Dr. Russell, you've got to do something. You have to save my baby. a special time for Tim Tim and me. Oh, we had some marvelous adventures. <laughs> Don't you 
just love this time of year, Timmy. Queuing up. That's right. I only sold you off a few months ago. This is Tim Tim's very first Halloween. Wow! Oh, oh, for Hades' sake, Tim Tim. How did I ever sew together such a clumsy doll? How can we look? <laughs> like a talking traffic cone. Take that thing off. Uh-uh. Now, Timmy wanted to be a hound like you were for Halloween. <sighs> oh, Timmy, Timmy, what am I going to do without you? Well, you listen to yourself. You better get your act together, Hagbag. You should be out stealing candies from kitties. I've heard all these legends about your powers of evil, the horrible spells you used to cast. I'm thinking it's all a bunch of Hollywood hype. Now pull yourself together and let's get going. We need to go spread some evil. Give me an E, give me a V, give me an I, give me an L. What do you get? Evil! <laughs> mm. So how's this uh, new wheelchair treating you? Seems fine, huh? <laughs> oh, but could you do me a favor? Could you get me some grape juice? It's over on the bar. I can't open the bottles. Sure. You know, I'd actually love some wine, but since I'm on this pain medication, I better just stick to grape juice. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're being responsible about that. Well, I, I told you I would, didn't I? It's much touchier than my old one. That's okay. Um, but I'm a mess. I, I, I should go down to the station house and take a shower and change. No, no, no. Don't be ridiculous. No, I, why don't you just take your clothes off here and I'll, I'll have somebody uh, clean them for you and you can shower in the meantime. Look, I, I don't want to impose. Oh, don't be silly. After all you've done for me, please, just let me reciprocate. Well, all right. Good. Okay, why well, don't just go up to my bedroom and uh, and take your clothes off. I'll have somebody from laundry come and get them, and you can shower. Okay? Thanks. Sure. Oh, perfect. Very soon, Sam will be naked and wet in my bedroom. What could be more wonderful than that? Oh, yeah. Grace there to see it all. Oh, yes. Well, come on, Ethan. Get to the point. Well, aren't you going to tell me whatever it is you've decided? Let me open some champagne first. I think we're going to need it in a few minutes. Mm, I just love it when you're mysterious. It's strange. I've been getting a lot of advice lately. Fatherly advice. Mm. You mean from Sam? Sam has given me some advice, but so did Julian. The strange thing is, all the years I thought Julian was my father, we never really talked about anything important. But he had a lot of great things to tell me about love and about picking the right woman. What did he tell you about picking the right woman? He, um... Well, he made me search my soul, Gwen. And I hope... that what I've decided... Well, I... I hope that when we leave this room tonight... you and I will be very, very happy. Is there anything that I can do, Dr. Russell? Teresa, you can stay calm. The baby can sense your fear. Okay, I'm going to stay calm. 
Mom's going to do everything she can to save the baby, honey. You know that. How is little Lincoln? Is he doing any better? We've got to get this fever down. Teresa, do you have any pediatric ibuprofen? Yes, I do. Right here, right here, right here. I'll be right back. Okay. Here. Oh, great. It's okay. What is wrong with him? I mean, how could his fever gotten so high? I don't know, Teresa. It could be an infection. The important thing right now is that we get the fever down. Okay, God. Don't take him away from me. He's all I have. Sorry, Connie. I'm, uh, I'm not up for it tonight. I just want to stay home and honor my Timmy's memory. Honor his memory? The best way to do that is to go out and steal some candy from a five-year-old. Oh, I couldn't possibly bear to hurt a child tonight. Make me think of all the mean things I did to Timmy in his short little life. <laughs> short life? You've been creating Timmy in different incarnations for centuries. Yes. Well, that's all over now, isn't it? Timmy chose to be a real boy in this incarnation, and then he died. So now he's dead. Really dead. Oh, he was such a sweet little lad. And he had such a good heart. He was always trying to protect me. Oh, yada, yada, <laughs> la-dee-da, whatever. Why couldn't you be more like him? Oh, this zombies foolish attempt to bring Timmy back that got you created in the first place. And I must say, you are an evil little monster of a girl. And what's wrong with being evil? You are a witch, remember? Now snap out of it. I've got a plan. And I need some help from you. <laughs> Hey, um, Luis, listen. I know how hard tonight's been for you, seeing Antonio and Sheridan at the lobster shack. Yeah? But I am not gonna let it ruin your Halloween. I know how hard you work for these kids, okay? Oh, oh my gosh. Luis, look. Remember that Halloween party we went to dressed as Romeo and Juliet? Yep. Uh, Wasn't that our junior year? Yep. That's the same year we won that apple bobbin contest, contest, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you fell in the barrel. <laughs> Cheers. No. No, there's nothing else that we need to talk about. You're still worried about my health, aren't you? You're still worried I'm gonna die. I saw Dr. Russell's car heading up towards the main house just a little while ago. What do you say we go up there and we'll talk to her? Get the real story about my health. Yes. Yes, I, I need to talk to Dr. Russell about your health. What are we going to be so happy about? I hope you'll be happy. Sit down. Over. Along with the medication, a lukewarm bath usually helps to bring the fever down. And if that doesn't work, we'll try alcohol rubs. Dr. Russell, there, there, there's something wrong with my baby. Come here, please. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, oh no. What, 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 what is it? What, what, what is going on? He's having seizures. And what kind of help do you expect from me?
Trick or treat! Oh, who do we have here? Oh, I see. Ross, Chandler, Phoebe, Rachel. Oh, <laughs> very good. And who are you? She's dressed up as her favorite daytime character. Oh, well, she certainly does have a flair for fashion, doesn't she? Where's our treats? Oh, yes, of course, there we are. Sweets for the sweet. Help you. yourself. Thank you. Don't Thank be you bashful. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh? um, did you do that for? Because that's our job. We're supposed to scare little kids, not hand out candy bars. Now listen up, Tabs. Timmy was a nice, innocent little boy. But I'm not Timmy, and I want some action. What kind of action? <laughs> this kind of action. Connie needs a man, and I want you to make me one. You what? You heard me. I want you to make me the man of my dreams. You're right, Grace. Yeah, I just want to know what's going on with Sam. Sam? <laughs> oh, my God, oh. Sam. I just saw... Just hurry, David. Just get there fast. and said you had laundry to be done. What? What? Oh. Oh, oh, yes. Um, take Chief Bennett's clothes down and get them done. And take your time doing it. And the name is Crane. Mrs. Ivy Crane. Yes, Mrs. Crane. to be nervous around me. You know, you can say anything to me or ask me anything. I know. Gwen, we, uh, we have a long history together. And I feel I know you better than I know myself. So, I want to ask you. Excuse me. Phyllis, we're not done with that champagne. I'm sorry, Mr. Ethan, but the baby is very sick. He needs the ice. Well, what's wrong with him? Well, he has a very high fever. How high? Well, you know, I don't know, but Dr. Russell's upstairs right now trying to bring it down. Dr. Russell is here? Why don't you come and get me? Well, Miss Teresa said not to bother you, so she had me call Dr. Russell. <sighs> Teresa must be worried sick. I, I better come upstairs and see if I can help. Oh, Gwen, Gwen, I'm um, sorry. i got to check on the baby. Dr. Russell, can't you do something to stop this? We have to wait for him to stop convulsing, Teresa. Isn't this dangerous? Huh? No, a baby can have convulsions when the fever is his eye. Horrible. My poor baby. Can't we do something, please? We'll just have to hope the medicine kicks in soon. Damn it, Teresa. Well, it is Halloween. I'm sure the little witch is on her broomstick. You know what? I bet that baby isn't even sick. She's just using him to get Ethan upstairs and away from me. You know, I'm sure 
you were right. I mean, it's time we call for some outside help. Outside help? I mean, Ivy. I'm gonna tell her to talk to Ethan and maybe she can get him to focus long enough that he'll forget about Teresa and propose to you. You know what, Mother? You do whatever you want because I am about to just give up. No! Do not say that. Don't ever, ever give up. We are gonna get Ethan out of Teresa's black widow web. One way or the other. Tabby, you have to make a man for me or I'm gonna lose it. Now say you'll do it or I'll start using you as a pincushion. Oh. Jimmy never threatened me. And he never talked to me as you do. He respected women. His love for charity was absolutely pure. Oh, who cares? He loved charity so selflessly. Mm. He was even happy for Miguel to have her, just as long as she was happy. And in the end, he gave her his very heart so she could live. Ah, oh, that was true love. <laughs> My Timmy felt true love. Turn off the waterworks, would ya? I can't help it. Okay. I guess I'll have to do it myself. <sighs> do what? You leave me no choice. Do whatever you like. But just stay out of that basement, do you hear? Too many horrible things could happen to you down there. The basement? That's the ticket. Have we here? <laughs> no, Rebecca. What are you doing here? What? Well, I was just sightseeing, that's all. And you know, if there was ever a reason to get out of a wheelchair, <laughs> that is it. What do you want? We have to talk. Not now. But Ethan was this close to proposing to Gwen when Teresa interfered again. And it happens every time. He's all set to pop the question. So you have got to talk to Ethan. Ethan will eventually propose to Gwen. Right now, I have other irons in the fire. <sighs> okay. Fine. Have your fun. But remember that we have an obligation to see that Ethan and Gwen get married. Yes, 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 of course, of course we will. But please, <laughs> just leave before Sam gets out of the shower. <sighs> Clothes ready yet? Oh, um, I, I'm sure they'll be here soon. What can I do, Dr. Russell? Good baby. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it feels good. Oh, there we go. We're gonna get that fever down. Is there anything I can get her? Do you have any emergency medical equipment in the house? Uh, uh yes, we do. Uh, we had it brought in when the baby came. I'll call downstairs and I'll have someone get it. Phyllis, can you bring it up? Oh, right away. Yes, I'm uh, sending Phyllis down for the emergency medical equipment. Thanks. Doctor, we just have the basics. We have uh, IV, saline bags, and a monitor. Ethan, that'll be fine. All we can do is to keep him hydrated. Oh. That stairway is where I lost my baby. In the hall down there. It's where I saw Sam and Ivy kissing him in the mistletoe. May I help you? 
Ah, uh, yes. Um, oh, we're looking for Chief Bennett. Is he here? Yes, he's upstairs in Mrs. Crane's suite in the shower. Uh, which Mrs. Crane? Mrs. Ivy Crane. Grace, I, I think we should... No, you know what? Now. There has got to be an explanation for this, and I'm going to find out for myself. <sighs> if she recovers, whatever she's going to find. <clears throat> Would you mind calling and see if my clothes are ready? Certainly, uh, of course, but um, there's a, a robe on the back of the door, if you'd like. Ivy, I do appreciate you being here for me tonight. It was an easy thing to watch, Grace, with David. I, I know, Sam. I... Oh, I just want you to be happy. You know, you look so tense. Why, why don't you let me rub your shoulders? No, no. It's, it's, hey, it's... come on, remember? I used to be pretty good at that. Good. Remember how I used to do this in the evening when you come back after the long days on the fishing boat? I remember it well. You'll forget about Grace soon enough, Sam. And then it'll just be you and me together forever. <laughs> oh, Louise. Okay, they're getting out of hand here. Yeah. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, please, please. If you want to make a mess, take it outside. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to get too rowdy for the old married couple. <laughs> if we would have got married back then, we'd probably have kids by now. Yeah, I know. Think about it every day. Have you seen Dr. Russell? Last I heard, she was upstairs. Something about Teresa's baby. <coughs> Teresa's baby? What's wrong with my nephew? I have no idea, but please feel free to go upstairs and find out. Okay, I will. Do you want to go with me, or are you going to stay down here? I'll, I'll just stay. Okay. Hey, Gwen, take care of Sheridan for me. She's had a rough night, okay? going on? I thought you were going to tell Antonio about you and Louise. I was. Everything went wrong. I saw Louise making love to Beth. Oh, Sheridan, no. Gwen, I've lost him. I have now lost Louise forever. Okay, now let's bring that fever down. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring that fever down. Oh, my goodness. Teresa might not be lying this time. Oh, Rebecca, how's my nephew? Oh, I'm not sure, Antonio. Oh, oh how are you feeling? Oh, do you need a shower? Excuse me? Oh, well, I just wanted you to know that my shower here is always working, just in case you, uh... Yeah, no, no, I don't need a shower. Listen, uh, I do want to tell you something, though. You know what? You were totally wrong about Sheridan and Louise. She doesn't love him. She loves me. Really? Well, you just keep me in mind when you need that shower. Teresa, what's going on? 
you. I'm sorry. My baby is sick. I wish you were here to protect me, Timmy. That Connie's so mean. I've no idea what she's going to get up to next. Oh. like a good leg. Mm -hmm. Ah, like this arm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, who's this? G.I. Joe. Perfect, thanks. Thank you, but uh, I, I, I gotta get out of here. Um, I'm gonna get out in the laundry and get my clothes. You don't have to do that, Sam. The maid will bring them up when they're no, ready. No, I don't want to wait. I need to get home and talk to Grace to find out where our marriage stands. You know, I think you should do that. You, it's right. Um, I'll bet. Could you do me one more favor before you leave, please? Sure. Well, I'm, I'm just not really used to this new wheelchair, and I am pretty tired. Could you help me get into bed? Yeah, no problem. I have a horrible feeling. Something terrible is going to happen. Something that could destroy my marriage. Well, look, let's go then. I don't want to see you hurt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. 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 You did it, Abby. <laughs> you destroyed Grace and Sam's love. Oh. <laughs> I am sure you're wrong. This has got to be a misunderstanding. Sheridan, I know that if you talk to Louise, you guys can straighten everything out. We don't have time to straighten things out. By the time I tell Antonio the truth, Luis is going to be married to Beth and having children with her. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Beth, how come uh, you never met anybody, got married after we broke up? You really have to ask that question? Yeah. I mean, half the guys in town wanted to go out with you. <laughs> there was Bruce and uh, Paul. Wasn't interested. Why not? I mean, hey, they were good guys. I know, I know, but they weren't you. I didn't want to settle for anything less than the best. You're my dream man, Luis. And, um, well, I don't want anyone else but you. Oh, Timmy and I sure did have some wild and wonderful times. And he was always there by my side, supporting me. Unlike some dolls I know. Speaking of which, where did that cracked Connie go? I know I made her angry this time, but I so 
certainly can't take the chance of creating a male doll that could be as mean and troublesome as she is. <laughs> I shudder to think what she could get up to if she had a p on all the harmony. <laughs> yes, we're going to get that fever down. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. He's a good boy. Doctor, the, the emergency equipment's here. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Just keep bathing him in the water. Okay. Okay. What, what's going on, Doctor? So is this fever going down? I just took it to reach Please don't take my baby. 